Today is the 26th of February 2019. Day 12 of GHV Airfield Savers. There's nothing wrong with us. No. <laughs> Thank you. That a good stay in the institution can't cure. <laughs> So what we've got here today is just a few of the aircraft that one or both of us have some kind of a history associated with. So over the course of these next few videos related to aircraft histories, um, we'll be covering each of these in turn. But the first one that we're going to do actually isn't here at all, but if you're on our YouTube channel, you'll see it just above this video. It's the one that's in the title bar, and that is the Cyclone. AX2000. 2000, yes. Uh, and uh, I've got this completely brilliant little book here that Julian has lent me. Um, and it has lots and lots of light aircraft in. And it has the Cyclone AX3 in it, which is the precursor. It is, yes. I'm just going to see if you can see that. And if not, we'll take a copy of this and show you yes. afterwards. Well, it's in Wikipedia. We'll, we'll put a link to it. Yeah. And the reason we've included that as our first one is because after 25 years, in my case, and it's uh, 97, so about 20. Right. About 20, yeah, about 22 years. 20 odd yeah. years. Uh, that's the first aircraft that we got off the ground in again. <laughs> yes. Thanks to our um, other trustee, Tim Wiltshire, who is current. Yes. So I'm just going to read what it says here about the Cyclone AX3. It's a really weird aircraft to fly, by the way. I've never, mm. I've never been in a microlight before. To my chagrin, I didn't even realise that microlights were real aircraft. <laughs> Which just goes to show the sheltered kind of echelon of aviation that I have been in all my life. Um, so the cyclone, cyclone design, originated in the States, has been produced in France since 1982 by Ultralair, where it has proved hugely popular, over 5,000 sold worldwide. And this was a while ago, I think, I don't yes. know what the date is of this book. 1997, so yes. we're talking a bit of history in itself here. Produced in this country now, uh, it's proving very popular as a three-axis microlight trainer and uh, private owner type. Okay, what else can I tell you? Oh, the structure is light alloy tubing with Dacron covering the cockpit pod. Metal tube and fabric, basically. What Dacron? It's a fabric. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, with optional side doors. Uh, the ones that we the one that we flew has side doors. Yes. <laughs> Lateral control is by Flapperons. They were new to me, um, and the other axes being looked after by a conventional tailplane elevator fin and rudder. The tricycle gear is sprung and braked with steerable nose wheel. There you go, and there's lots more interesting data here, which uh, I don't know whether you'll find it interesting, so I won't read that out. So tell us more about the AX2000. Uh, well, it, it, it's a typical little uh, three-axis micro light, really. It, it uh, toddles around quite nicely. The, the only thing I'm being a glider pilot I'm not too keen on is that with the two-stroke engine it's got you really can't throttle it all the way back because it can stop or seize up and it so doesn't glide very well well exactly I don't mind that everything, everything glides but I, I, I like to take my power right off when I land right. and not have it tickling over which uh, which you've okay. really got to do with, a, with, with, with the yeah. uh, with the cyclone the main thing I found when I flew it was, oh also, the main thing I found when I flew it from the right hand seat first of all, was that all my last experience has been flying helicopters. So I was wobbling away at the throttle, which wasn't doing anything because that's not a collective, and I was trying to control the power, the um, actual control stick as if it was the collective. So it was just a complete mess really. Uh, and then when I got in the left hand seat, some of my fixed wing memory came back. But also the other thing I realised is that it doesn't, you might, it doesn't glide, it just goes, <laughs> it's got a very <laughs> poor, very uh, steep glide angle. <laughs> yes, yes, very poor ratio. Uh, but it was fun to get off the ground, but also I realised that I was barely um, off the ground when I sat in it. It's very low to the ground compared with the aircraft I was yes. used to fly, so it's a great experience. But it gets off the ground quite, pretty, pretty nimbly and it gets yeah. back down again, because Wingland, where we flew from, was a very short trip. Yes, yes, that's the other thing. It's definitely a short field takeoff mm. and landing. Mm. And it flies around at about 45, 55 knots. Yeah, like maximum, I think. Yeah, yes. maximum. Yes. So, so there's plenty of time to look at things. 
I think if we fly that out of uh, Marshland where we've got uh, 900 metres, yeah. we'll probably take off and land, take off and land, take off and land three or four yeah. times before we get to the end of the runway. Yeah, you could register yes. several landings <laughs> yes. before you get to the end of the runway. Yes. Yeah, and it's almost, if you're really good, you could almost land it across runway, at the yes. far end of the runway where it's a little bit wider. Yes. It's a short strip aircraft. Yes. I've got a little, little clip of us taking off uh, from wing lands, which yeah. I'll attach to the end of this video. That's a good idea. To actually see the aircraft. Yeah, so if you've got any questions about the cyclone or any other microlights or any stories uh, about your own journey, then yeah, let us know and we'll, we'll start sharing and communicating. And, and, th and then we'll do a series of other, uh, uh, other little things on different interesting aircraft. Yeah. Some of them we've got connection with, some of them we've not got, I've not got direct connections well, with. Not be direct. I find them very interesting having researched them. Yeah. Uh, very characterful aircraft and specific character characterful aircraft as well. Yeah. Which I've got two down here, which is the uh, uh, the, the, the little uh, Cessna bird dog. Precursor to the Cessna 150. 150, yeah, with, with, with the, with the tail we'll wheel. Talk about. Yeah. yeah. And the little Martin uh, Maryland here, which was flown by Adrian Warburton during the Second World War. Yeah. Very interesting story. Some great that stories. And, yes. and we're always going to include the DC 3 yes. as tribute to Mikey McBride. And his Plane Saver series, yeah. Yeah. from which we are basing our series. Yes, indeed we are. Well, so that's savers. our effort for today for GHV Airfield Savers. We hope you enjoy it and look forward to many more videos about these types and more to come. Yes. Thanks very much. That's it. Thank you.